The advantage there is that monitoring station doesn't have to buy hardware from us. They don't have to mount it in their rack. They don't have to power it. They don't have to cool it. All those things that monitoring uh, stations want to get away from, right? So this is software that runs on their choice of computer. Tom, we're introducing uh, a, a really neat, nice product that I think is going to bring a lot to the intrusion industry in terms of flexibility and capability for monitoring alarms. Sure, Steve. So this is our new B6800-SR software receiver. And what it does is it replaces those hardware receivers that we've had in our catalog forever, our 6600 and our D6100, yep. right? And the difference is, this is software that runs on the customers, the monitoring stations, computer or server. It doesn't require a server, although it certainly could run on a, on a server. The advantage there is that monitoring station doesn't have to buy hardware from us. They don't have to mount it in their rack. They don't have to power it. They don't have to cool it. All those things that monitoring uh, stations want to get away from, right? So this is software that runs on their choice of computer. It's very flexible in the licensing, so they can buy in chunks of licenses what they need for their application on up to 10,500 accounts. Okay. So the first innovation is really that flexibility. They run it on their own computer. The licensing is very flexible. Another thing, Steve, that we really need to talk about, our Kinetics IP solution in general is a very secure solution for alarm communications. There's three major points of that. One is that every message is validated by the receiver, which means we'll ignore signals that we're not expecting. What that does for us is it helps eliminate the possibility of a denial of service attack. You know, if someone wants to break into the vault and they know how to get into that receiver, not our receiver, they could send multiple messages. They could set up a robot to send multiple messages, take down that central station, and while the central station is trying to figure out what's going on, they empty the vault. That's bad. You can't do that with a Bosch system, because in a Bosch system, we validate every message. If we're not expecting it, we ignore it. It's like we've never seen it. That's a really important feature. Another feature is our encryption. We have the opportunity to encrypt every message from every control panel. It's a selectable feature, so you can use it or not. You can. Uh, you can set up one receiver here in the 6800 to be your encrypted receiver, the other one to not be encrypted because it's a, it's a little easier to set those up. But if you choose to do so, every message can be encrypted when it's coming to our central station receiver. Another advantage we have is a feature called anti-substitution and anti-replay, which means that the bad guy can't go out and buy a Bosch panel, program it just like the one in the bank, and quick unplug the Ethernet cable from one and plug it into theirs and start communicating. Because that panel that was originally installed when it first communicated with our receiver has an ID in it. So that receiver knows it's supposed to be hearing from that particular piece of hardware. And if it hears that account ID from another piece of hardware, that's a substitution error and the central station will know right away that they have a security concern. The other thing that's really important and those central station operators are going to be really happy with is the user interface. It uses a browser-based user interface. You don't have to load software in every workstation in your monitoring center. You load the software in one computer that's running the receiver itself. It has a web server and operators will use their favorite browser to browse into that web server and make changes, add accounts, those sorts of things. Another advantage of that is multiple operators can do that at the same time, so it really adds a lot of efficiency for that monitoring center. This here is, if you imagine what the front of the hardware receiver looks like, this is a re software replacement for that. This is the monitoring page. One of the really important things about this is that it shows the status of all the current accounts that are online, offline, and if we happen to have a panel to stop communicating because the network's down or the cellular's down, that would show up in our list of offline accounts. So in one dashboard, those operators can see the status of all their Bosch IP communicators. That's a really, that's a really great feature. Another feature of this is built-in uh, redundancy. So we have a failover solution where you run two 
of the version, two of the uh, receivers at the same time. One is the failover uh, receiver, and it automatically switches over to that in the in the event that the primary receiver goes down. The operators, the IT folks at the monitoring center don't have to do a thing except set it up in the first place. And if something happens to that first one, it's just going to automatically switch over. You know, in the old days, we'd have that A-B switch that yeah, you'd have to flip over and, and hope that you got switch. that thing wired right. Well, that all goes away because it's just an automated failover sure. solution. So tons more flexibility, great user interface, that auto uh, failover capability. This looks like a winner. Um, I'm sure a lot of the Central Station people are really going to want to get their hands on this software and start to get it applied in their environments. Yeah, we're really excited about it, Steve, so thanks for the opportunity to talk about a new product.